So close last week, wasn't it? So tight. Can't see it being much different today, really. Can't see there being much in it. It's an occasion. on the bench. Here's Rico Ioani, almost creating a little bit of space there for his fullback. And he's winging, he did! Mark Talaya! <laughs> Haven't really been able to get in the game. What about Marcus Smith and this kick towards Manny Ferraboso? That could be riding it now! Oh, they are! What a step! And Marcus Smith, that is perfect. It's perfect. New Zealand weren't even that narrow, not really. They had two on one. And Baps is going to earn his post-match meal. Oh, the work has got through already. Here's McKenzie. Oh, look at that, swivels out and gives it to Talaire. That's lovely offloading from both of them. Terrafetta can go either way, he'll go to Talaire. And it goes back inside and brilliant from Marcus Smith. He's saved it. No, it's not, it's still in. Jamie George okay, use that, please. prefers Mitchell to play it. Smith. And he's the siren for half time, so it will be the final play. Marcus Smith trying to make it into something. Only well, Lawrence is there. He's going to leave it to Mitchell. Baxter. Finishing the half like he started it. All the way through that work rate. So too Martin. He's going to have a penalty. Smith goes for one of those crossfield kicks again, and it's Tommy Freeman who makes it! Both wingers have done it now! Marcus Smith again brilliant, it's not pure opportunism. It's not just seeing something and having a go, he knows he's got a six foot four winger out there who's brilliant in the air. It's practised, it's brilliant from England. Um, himself does well, and he take it the line out's good tonight. It's, uh, Pressure time for all the players. Pressure time in the breakdown again for England. Excuse me, excuse me, Got guys. Got to go forward, but it didn't stay. Okay. Yeah, 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 guys. I want to explain that they're short at that breakdown because you've taken an extra man out there. Okay. Noise from the crowd again. The future of this series, but Marcus Smith says, "You're not going to bother me." And Dan okay, Cole is there. Significant nine. moment. Two. Leave it. Cat number one one five. Overtakes Jason Leonard. Found a bit of space there with Bowden back, and he's finding it again. Oh, he's finding it all right, and he's got support outside from that man once more, Mark Talaya. That is Jacobson, and that's the penalty in front. Twelve caps ring back in the day. Freeman looks for slight home with a shimmy goes on the outside. This is what he does, and he's burnt Reese. Brilliant from the England replacement. Coles, fellow Northampton say. Coles going to get back to his feet. Contact off the ball. Holding out an arm for that contact off the ball, I think. You haven't done your prep, mate. Give me the outside, I'll burn you. Shades of Johnny May at Twickenham against yeah. New Zealand. The draw might feel like a win at this stage. This is big. George throws. Itojo takes. Backwards once, come on! This is where that third of the long, hard season might kick in. But England also know this is the last thing they have to do. Can they find a way to that try line and give themselves a shot at a draw? No, they can't. Okay, so it's more stop there. Oh, that's moving then. Okay, now it's stopped and they come off and 12's in front. He's in so front I said that was clear obstruction. But they're bound the whole time. Okay, all right, I'm going to explain this. Uh, Jamie, I don't want to argue about it. I've looked at it four or five times. Slight detachment there. I want to explain this. The mall's been successfully defended, okay? It's stopped. 
It's then generated again by 12 white and yourself coming off. 12 white is in front of you, so it's obstruction. Nice. So it's going to be a penalty to black. Connected to the ball at all times. Jeremy Jones can't believe it. Obstruction, 12 white in front. But England came close last week and this, David. They came close both times. England will be hurting badly after this. Badly, so close, so tight. They will feel it's a test match they should at least have drawn, but New Zealand haven't got where they are. They don't have this record at Eden Park because they beat everyone by 100 points by cricket scores. I spoke earlier in the, in the week to the boys about the journey that this team's been on. It's been a long season for us, um, dating back to the start of the World Cup. So um, I think we're a significantly better team than when we started. And, you know, there's uh, hugely exciting times ahead for this English team. Yeah, it's tough, you know, it's tough. Um, I think we showed some improvements with the way we're playing the game, but um, at the end of the day, it just wasn't good enough today. Yeah, we'll welcome them back to Twickenham on, in November. We'll look forward to that. But um, look, I really don't think there is a ceiling in this team. You look at the age demographic, hugely talented guys who are desperate to learn, and um, it's an absolute pleasure to be a part of.